Hi, hello, how are you? You seem like you're miles away tonight. Come closer, come closer. That's better. Lift you up a little bit. Ooh, that's better. Let's... No, it's not. Let's have some of Terry Pratchett's Men at Arms Corgi Edition for our read three tonight, shall we? And remember, for our read three, we're starting on page 231. Are you ready? Because I am a scene somewhere near Quarry Lane. Where are we going? I'm gonna have someone to look at you. Not dwarf, Doctor. There must be someone up here who knows how to slap some quick drying cement on you or whatever you do. Should you be all oozing like that? Dunno. Never oozed before. Where are we? Dunno. Never been down here before. The area was on the windward side of the cattle yards and the slaughterhouse district. That meant it was shunned as living space by everyone except trolls, to whom the organic odours were about as relevant and noticeable as the smell of granite would be to humans. The old joke went, the trolls live next to the cattle yard, what about the stench? Oh, the cattle don't mind. Which was daft, trolls didn't smell, except to other trolls. There was a slabby look about the buildings here. They'd been built for humans but adapted by trolls, which broadly meant kicking the doorways wider and blocking up the windows. It was still daylight. There weren't any trolls visible. Bleh, said Detritus. Come on, big man, said Cuddy, pushing Detritus along like a tug pushes a tanker. Lance Constable Cuddy. Yeah? You were dwarf, this Kawari Lane. You found here you in deep trouble. We're city guards. Christ so praise. He not give a coprolith about that stuff. Cuddy looked around. What do you use for doctors anyway? A troll face appeared in a doorway. And another. And another. What Cuddy had thought was a pile of rubble turned out to be a troll. There were suddenly trolls everywhere. <sighs> I'm a guard, thought Cuddy. That's what Sergeant Colon said. Stop being a dwarf and start being a watchman. That's what I am. Not a dwarf, a watchman. They gave me a badge shaped like a shield. City watch. That's me. I carry a badge. I just wish it were a lot bigger. Vimes was sitting quietly at a table in the corner of the bucket. There were some pieces of paper and a handful of metal objects in front of him, but... He was staring at his fist. It was lying on the table, clenched so tight the knuckles were white. Captain Vimes, said Carrot, waving a hand in front of his eyes. There was no response. How much has he had? Two nips of whiskey, that's all. That shouldn't have done this to him, even on an empty stomach, said Carrot. Angua pointed at the neck of a bottle protruding from, from Vimes' pocket. I don't think he's been drinking on an empty stomach. I think he put some alcohol in it first, she said. Captain Vimes, said Carrot again. What is he holding in his hand, said Angua. Oh, I don't know. This is bad. I've never seen him like this before. Come on, you take the stuff, I'll take the captain. Uh, he hasn't paid for his drink, said Mr Cheese. Angua and Carrot looked at him. On the house, said Mr Cheese. There was a wall of trolls around Cuddy. It was as good a choice of word as any. Right now their attitude was more of surprise than menace, such as dogs might show if a cat had just sauntered into the kennels. But when they'd finally got used to the idea that he really existed in front of them, it was probably only a matter of time before this state of affairs no longer obtained. Finally, one of them said, What is then? He is a man of watch, same as me, said Detritus. Him a dwarf. He a watchman. Him got bloody cheek, I know that. A stubby troll finger prodded Cuddy in the back. The trolls crowded in. I count to ten, said Detritus. Then any troll not going about that troll's business, he a sorry troll. You Detritus said a particularly wide troll. Everyone know you stupid troll. You joined watch because stupid troll, you can't count to... Wham. 
One, said Detritus. Two, three, four, five, six. The recumbent troll looked up in amazement. That Detritus, him counting. There was a whirring noise and an axe bounced off the wall near Detritus' head. There were dwarfs coming up the street with a purposeful and deadly air. The trolls scattered. Cuddy ran forward. What are you lot doing? Are you mad or something? A dwarf pointed a trembling finger at Detritus. W what's that? He's a watchman like me. Looks like a troll to me. Let's get it. Cuddy took a step backward and produced his axe. I know you, strong in the arm. What's this all about? He said. You know, watchman, said Strong in the arm. The watch say a troll killed Bjorn Homer Hammerhock. They've found the troll. No, that's not... There was a sound behind Cuddy. The trolls were back, armed for dwarf. Detritus turned around and waved a finger at them. Any troll move and I start counting. Hammerhock were killed by a man, said Cuddy. Captain Vimes thinks... The watch have got the troll, said a dwarf. Damn all rocks. Grit suckers. Monoliths. Eater of rats. Da. Yeah. Oh, ha. Ah, I've been man only hardly any time, said Detritus, and already I fed up with you stupid trolls. What do you think humans say, eh? Oh, them ethnic. Them don't know how to behave in big city. Go around waving club, a drop of thing you wear on head. We're watchmen, said Cuddy. Our job is to keep the peace. Good, said Strong and Arm. Go and keep it safe somewhere else until we need it. Dis not cum valley, said Detritus. That's right, shouted a dwarf at the back of the crowd. This time we can see you all. Trolls and dwarfs were pouring in at either end of the street. Oh, what would Corporal Carrot do in a time like this? whispered Cuddy. He say, you bad people, uh, make me angry. You stop too sweet. And then they'd all go away, right? Yeah. What would happen if we were to try that? We look in gutter for our heads. Mm, I think you're right. You see that alley? It a nice alley. It say, hello, you outnumbered. 256 plus 64 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1 to 1. Drop in and see me. A club bounced off Detritus' helmet. Run! The two watchmen sprinted for the alley. The impromptu armies watched them and then, differences momentarily forgotten, gave chase. Where does go? I don't know. It goes away from the people chasing us. I like this alley. Behind them, the pursuers, suddenly trying to make progress in a gap barely wide enough to accommodate a troll, realised that they were pushing and shoving with their mortal enemies and started to fight one another in the quickest, nastiest and above all narrowest battle ever held in the city. Cuddy waved a tritus to a halt and peered around a corner. I think we're safe. All we have to do is get out of the other end of this and get back to the watch house, OK? He turned around failed to see the troll, took a step forward and vanished temporarily from the world of men. Hmm? Where could he be? That's confusing. Well, thanks very much for listening. Short one tonight because there's a hefty next bit, you see. Uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks very much. <laughs>